Stairmaster 20 minutes. Thought it was gonna be easier. Nope. Same pain. Alright guys, so here is November 4th, Monday. Tell them where we're at. Alright, so we're gonna jump on the scale. See what first week we're at. Two oh seven. Two oh seven. So I'll take that. Not bad starting from about two fifteen to two oh seven. All right, that's a good start, you guys. For next thing, we're gonna check our body fat percentage. All right, so we're at exactly 20. And this fluctuates, you guys. I just like doing it on a consistent basis just to keep me accountable. So we're at 20. I think we went down a couple points. All right, you guys, so a great way to start the morning, losing seven pounds the first week. Uh, it's very huge. Obviously, we're not gonna be losing seven pounds for the next 180 days of this transformation. You know, there's no way I'm gonna be losing 160 pounds. <laughs> but it's a great start. Obviously, doing keto, I'm um, getting back into the gym, drinking water. Um, those things are going to be very critical that first couple weeks um, as far as the fat loss. That's what I'm saying. Really push it hard the first couple weeks because your body's changing. It's adapting. Um, it's learning uh, what we're doing here. So um, the first week's always going to be really great. I just got to keep pushing. All right, guys. So meal number one for day eight is going to be broccoli and cauliflower. About three cups of that. And then we also got some pork uh, with some cheese on top just to balance our macros. So this is about six ounces of pork. And then we also got about half a cup of cheese. So to fill up my calories for today, I went ahead and made myself a keto pancake. Went ahead and put some almond butter in there. I went ahead and got myself some of Hershey's cocoa, 100% uh, cocoa. It's it's great, you guys. No sugar. One like less than one gram of protein, um, and you know 0.5 grams of fat. So that's definitely something I utilize uh, when I'm making or even baking uh, keto. And then uh, last thing here, if you are into syrup, uh, I went ahead and got myself some of this uh, pancake syrup. There's no, it's calorie free, fat free. But the good thing about this, you guys, um, zero sugars. So that's went ahead and just put like, like a little tablespoon of it just to go ahead and give myself something a little bit sweeter. And that's some tricks that you can use um, as far as making yourself a keto pancake. Same thing, different day. Stairmaster, 20 minutes. Thought it was gonna be easier. Nope. Same pain. So we burned 700 active calories. All right, you guys, so we just got done with the cardio. 12 rounds of incline. Uh, 20, 20 seconds on, minute off. The incline was about 12. And yeah, it was tough. Today was tough. The upper body workout was tough. Everything was tough today. But the fact that we finished makes everything worth it that's another day down eight of 180 guys so after the workout i realized that i was about thousand calories 
below my target for today. So I went ahead and just picked up some uh, grilled nuggets from Chick-fil-A um, with some uh, garlic herb ranch, definitely keto friendly. Just to help with that, after eating this, I should be close to that 600 caloric deficit rather than 1,000. So just so that you guys are aware, um, make sure you don't go too crazy with the caloric deficit. Um, obviously, you're going to be starving, but also you want to make sure that you don't put your body in starvation mode. Uh, you want to keep burning. So um, the closer you are, as far as that threshold of about 300, 500, you should be good.